Hello and welcome to another video. In my previous video I built this motorbike with a 2000 watt motor kit. I'm really happy with it, only the battery is giving me problems. It's cutting out at certain moments. I think it's the BMS, the battery management system. But it was really cheap so I couldn't expect too much from it anyway. And that brings me to today's video where I will build my own battery pack. I got 49 battery cells, some cables, a battery management system, BMS, a charging cable, nickel welding strips, battery holder brackets and a big piece of shrink tube. Oh yeah, some captain tape, basic solder tools and I also got myself a cheap spot welder. I will leave a link in the description. I got this because I'm always a bit scared of electricity and I didn't see myself disassembling the microwave or shorting my car battery in order to spot weld some batteries. So I thought that's why this is a good solution for me. It was not too expensive anyway. So here's the little machine. It comes with a foot pedal switch that activates the welder, some welding strips, fuses and contacts. I will do a little test first. Yep, that's working. Alright, let's go back to the battery pack. I will make a battery pack with 13 rows in series and 3 rows in parallel. It's not too big, but it's okay for my little motor. The 13 series will give me about 48 volts and the 3 rows of parallel will make the, the capacity a bit bigger. Here I am assembling the battery holder brackets. It's almost like building Legos, very easy. And another one, one for the top and one for bottom. Now the brackets are done, we can place the batteries. We are alternating the plus and the minus per row. Alright, that's done. Now we can start soldering. We solder the batteries together with a nickel strip and of course the spot welder, I just demonstrated. There we go. Alright, that's done. All the welds are complete. Now I made myself a drawing um, to see how the wires are going to the BMS, the battery management system, so that that cannot go wrong. It's actually very easy if you look at it. So every row gets one wire, so every row can be controlled by the battery management system separately. The pack is done now, so I will cover it with uh, heat resistant tape for extra protection. There are a lot of wires, but I try to make it as neat as possible. Okay, then I have the big piece of string tube that wraps it all around and that makes it really nice. It almost looks like the factory battery I had before, but this time with better cells. Here we have the result. Let's quickly add it to the bike and test it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a like. And if you want to see more of those videos, please subscribe to my channel.